Yeah. And what I'm going to do right now is eating this warm. <laughs> I'm a Filipino, but I was born and raised up in Germany. And I don't know how to speak Tagalog. Being now in my 40s, I want to learn more about my Philippine origins, the culture, the way of life, and maybe Tagalog. As a videographer, I travel the Philippines within three weeks to capture the beauty of the country. And who could be better travel companions than mom and dad? And they know how to speak Tagalog. Hey, I'm Michael, I'm from Bavaria, Germany, and this is my travel story. What I didn't really know is that the super loft I booked is inside the ultimate Residences Tower 3, which must be an exclusive place here in Cebu. <laughs> We just landed in uh, Cebu International Airport with a heavy delay. Hope we can get to our hotel. Next one. Look, there are lots of plants here in the airport. I like that. It's still Christmas in Cebu City. I guess this is our shuttle service. Twenty-first floor. Little reminder, I'm here with my mom and dad. Where is 2115? Look at that. It looks like a little lock here. So curious what's upstairs. Two beds. That's the bathroom. Hey guys. That's the kitchen. There's another bathroom. What's that? Washing machine. I need it so badly. Mom, how do you find this hotel? This apartment. What's your first impression? It's nice, but also nice. <laughs> well, yeah, nice price. I guess um, it was meant ironically. Mom, economical as always. This is not a hotel room. You must be a wu sign. Actually. This is not a hotel room, what I originally thought of when I booked this room, but it's a condominium. It is a nice loft and the total opposite of the simple hotel room we had in Quran. I have no idea of uh, Cebu city. From what I've seen so far, it's a green, clean city. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be able to see Cebu at daylight and I'm very curious and we are gonna have a tour tomorrow. Cebu City, 7 a.m. Even in the morning, much less traffic than in Dagupat City, for example. Um, that's Magellan's Cross. Magellan, the guy who discovered the Philippines. the Basilica del Santo Nino. Actually, this is the oldest and most historic relic in the Philippines brought by the Spaniards. Everywhere you can see red and yellow colors. I think as a homage to the Spaniards who came centuries ago. I'm sitting here in the House of Legend restaurant, which is a very recommended restaurant here in the city. It's known for the for lechon. Lechon. This is a pork grilled and open fire with very, 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 very crispy skin. That's a really sweet, tiny portion of rice. Another spot of Filipino Spanish history. Right of the I am here.
here in Fort San Pedro, the first settlement of the Spaniards built in 1565, after Magellan discovered the Philippines in 1521. And it was Cebu where Magellan touched Philippine soil for the first time. Um, actually, it's pronounced uh, Magellan. There's one other thing I noticed, the drivers here in Cebu are far more civilized than in other Philippine cities I know. Actually, Lapu-Lapu was the first Filipino who resisted Spanish colonists. Everywhere you see the image branding with these um, colorful patterns, which is connected to Lapu-Lapu. This is one of many street markets here in Cebu City. My parents are looking for super fresh mango. Obviously they're buying more fruits. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. We are going to Bohol. Bohol? Wow. It's very early in the morning. It's about 6 15 a.m. We just arrived in the province of Bohol, which is uh, also the 10th largest island in the Philippines. Okay. And then we will go oh, okay. also to the floating restaurant. We will eat our uh, lunch. Okay. And then the butterfly. Uh, uh, we have hanging grits in here. Like we're gonna do some adventure here in Bohol. Helmet. This is so fun. My parents just got stuck. Emergency guys. Thank you. We make a little stop over here. My mom, she's climbing the hill in spite of her pain in her knee. Everything okay, mom? Yes. How old are you now, mom? 69. You're getting 70 this year. Still young. Are you exhausted? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. are the chocolate hills consisting of 1776 hills one two three four the shape of the hill so symmetrical look our tour Take guide he has nice sneakers only in Bohol <laughs> Bohol style My first impression of Bohol, the vegetation is so rich, there are so many trees I've never seen before. Look at that tree. So the tour took about one hour, the quad was very easy to use, so you could always enjoy the great landscape. Let's get to our next destination. Five, six, seven. What a green island. 9, 10, 11, 12. So many steps. How did you More do that? Than 200. More than 200 steps. It's easy to go up. Why are they called chocolate hills? Because in dry season, which is in March and April, the grass and all the leaves uh, are getting brown. That hill slowly gets brown. So everything looks like chocolate. 
I'm gonna meet this buddy. These little guys are the tiniest monkeys in the world. Tarsier is the scientific name, I guess. So I'm standing here amid mahogany trees. This is a man-made forest that prevents uh, landsliding. Ooh, it's quite weird to walk on a hanging bridge. Never walked on a hanging bridge before. Look, there's a carabao. That's the national animal of the Philippines. Hello, sir. How about picture? Hello, thank you. So what I'm gonna try now is this uh, cultured super worms feed with organic foods. Let's try that. This is how it looks like. Would you eat it? Okay, let's try this. Crispy. Actually, it's uh, flavored with salt. It's not that bad. So I just met this fellow from Hello. Romania, is it? it Romania, it, it, Romania, yeah. Transylvania, and we tried together this uh, super warm. So what's your opinion mm. about it? It's really nice, really tasty. Yeah, and yeah. crispy. A isn't little it? bit salty as well. Yes. Nice flavor. I but, really recommend this. In fact, it is my first time trying something okay. disgusting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. It was nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you, Michael. <laughs> Well, uh, after eating the worms, I don't feel hungry anymore, somehow. This kind of looks like worms. So actually, I'm right now in on a floating restaurant. <laughs> I will put in your next set. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my wife. Ooh, the python is quite Whoa. heavy. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? I have a python around my neck. Look at that. My favorite sasa. first. Mm. Oh, that's good. I came to Cebu and visited Bahal with no expectations. After the big tours in Quran, I thought we would have some relaxing sightseeing trips. As you have seen, we hadn't. We rushed from destination to destination because there was a lot to see. In Bahal, I realized how diverse the Philippines is in terms of nature, culture and mentality. We are leaving Cebu now and what I expect from our next destination White sand beaches. See you in Boracay. What I totally missed in Cebu was uh, to swim with sharks and whales in Oslo. And I badly wanted to do zip lining in Bohol but it was closed when we arrived there. Uh, damn! <laughs>